Good morning class. This is your English teacher Sir Sanjay. I welcome you all to yet another session of online classes. Today we will take up the 8th lesson of English course book text called A Pact with the Sun. What is the name of the lesson? A Pact with the Sun. Now before we formally begin, I would like to explain you the meaning of the word called pact. What is the meaning of the word pact? Can anyone tell me? Yes. Pact is a simple word. It means an agreement, a formal agreement between two persons or body. Clear? So, pact. What is the meaning of the word pact? Pact is a what? A formal. agreement right so like the title suggests it says a pact with sun so there will be some kind of agreement with the sun what kind of agreement and would it really be some sort of agreement or what it is actually is what we are going to learn clear so let us see what do we have here so before we actually begin there is a little preface here this is the preface that I'm talking about. This is the preface. So we will just go through the preface and try to understand. Okay, so what does it say? It says, Saida's mother has not received proper medical treatment for her complaint. So Saida's mother, Saida is a young girl maybe. By reading the story, you will get to understand. Okay, so her mother might be having some medical issues. Maybe having some problem with her physical health. Clear? So... For those problems, she has not been receiving treatment as well as she should receive. Who has not been receiving treatment? Saida's mother. Clear. For her ailments, for her diseases. Clear. She is denied healthy food, sunshine, sunshine and fresh air. So, for this reason, she cannot eat healthy food. She has to stay bedridden. Means most of her time gets spent by sitting at home on a bed. And she cannot get out in the air to you know, breathe in fresh air. Clear? So what happens? At last she consults a good physician. Physician may refer to a doctor and all. Clear? So finally, sick and tired of her life, she consults a good physician who gives her effective medicine and sound advice. So this physician gives her medicine. Very effective medicine and a piece of great advice. What advice is it? Let's find out by reading the text. Okay, here we are. Saida's mother, I've started reading, we are here. Clear. Saida's mother had been ailing for a long time. Fever, cough, body ache, painful joints and what not. Tragedy by a variety of physicians, sorry, treated by a variety of physicians for weeks. She often showed signs of improvement but soon relapsed into her old sick self one complaint substituted by another so what is being discussed here is Saida's mother's medical condition she has been ailing means suffering from some disease for quite a long time now and what were the disease she has been suffering from fever cough body ache ache means pain in the body right painful joints joints are those part of our body where two bones congregate right so she has been suffering from various problems like fever, cough, ache in the body, painful joints and many more things. Okay, And she was treated by a number of doctors for a number of weeks. What happened is with treatment she will show, show signs of improvement. She will be improving for a bit. But then she, uh, soon she will relapse into her old sick self. Means all her symptoms will get back to her old condition of you know sickness and she she will be as it is clear means her complaint will be sub substituted when one complaint got better another complaint would take its place so she was not getting better at all if we talk about her improvement and all clear though weak and colorless she was forbidden normal food and was under strict orders to remain Perpetually, perpetually means all the time, confined to her small dingy room 
with doors and windows fastened deprived of sunshine and fresh air so we got to learn a lot about her condition and the way she was treated what is being discussed in the following line let's see she was weak and colorless means she looked extremely pale but even though she was weak and colorless and she suffered from a number of diseases she was forbidden normal food she was not allowed to have normal food like we all have and there was strict order for her to remain confined in her small room she was not allowed to go out whenever and wherever she wanted this room was not very neat with its door and windows always remaining closed which kept her aloof means which deprived her of sunshine and fresh air means she was not exposed to sunshine neither was she exposed to fresh air so this was saida's mother's condition there is a picture which illustrate her condition see this must be saida's mother this is the physician this must be some of the helpers and this must be saida so by looking at the picture picture you can clearly make out this saida's mother is not healthy she is confined in this small room and a lot of people are queuing up to see her clear we will continue let us now continue with the explanation in the following paragraph so i'll read the paragraph first and then explain when she became critical we are here clear when she became critical her relatives and neighbors persuaded her to consult a specialist who's a specialist specialist is someone who has studied one particular discipline or is well expert of that field for example if we talk about uh let's say cardiologist cardiologist will be someone who has specially studied about heart and its diseases okay similarly orthopedic surgeon will be a doctor dealing with broken bones and bone related ailments clear so similarly in this case what happened saida's mother's relative kept and her neighbors kept asking her to consult a specialist even though his fee was likely to be high clear the specialist fee was likely to be higher than the rest but saida's mother was suggested to consult the specialist life is more precious than money they say saida's mother was poor but she heeded the advice and sold a few trinkets to pay the doctor's fee and course of medicine clear so what happened saida's mother they were not very wealthy clear neither healthy nor wealthy so what happened is she was advised by her neighbors and certain people that you know life is more precious than money and that is why she sold few trinkets it could refer to her property or little jewelry that she used to possess so she sold them she pay heed to the advice she means she agreed to the advice and then she sold a few trinkets and was ready to pay the doctor's fee and the cost of medicine come what may clear so now in the first case we got to understand the problem of saida's mother and in the second para we understood that there is a solution the solution was she was supposed to consult a specialist and for that she was ready she even went on to the extent of selling few trinkets and all clear now let's read the following paragraph the doctor came in a few days and examined her and prescri- uh, prescribed effective but costly medicine to the question as to what she should eat he said anything you wish to eat chapati vegetable milk fruits etc in addition to all this he added emphatically means excitedly leave this dark hovel means they leave this dark ugly room and occupy a bigger room with doors and windows open sit in the sun every morning from 8 to 9 sunshine and fresh air he concluded are more important than medicine clear so this doctor was very friendly how because see he came in for a few days and examined her and he prescribed means he wrote in a prescription of medicine those were effective but costly okay so to the question as to what she should eat he said so saida's mother must have asked the doctor doctor what should i eat he said 
anything you wish to eat you can eat anything you want okay he recommended chapati roti vegetable milk fruits etc okay and then he went on to add in addition to all this leave this dark room he suggested her to leave the dark room she was living in and then uh, move to a room a bigger room in fact with doors and windows open she, he suggested her to move to a big room with doors and windows open and then sit in the sun every morning from 8 am to 9 am and sit in the sun for 1 hour for how long for 1 hour time okay and then he said sunshine and fresh air are more important than medicine see sunshine is very important because it keeps our bones and all strong because it contains vitamin d we all know i guess so he says sunshine and fresh air are more important than medicine is what the doctor suggested okay so it was nice little suggestion given by the doctor now what happens as we follow let's find out the doctor and his advice became a subject of noisy commentary among all present so a lot of people were present noisy commentary means the doctor had suggested something which no other doctor suggested so this raised a few eyebrows and people were you know not seemingly very happy with what he has suggested they were commenting about his prescription okay some favored while others opposed it so some liked okay some favored while others opposed it some liked what the doctor suggested while others opposed it they were like what is this doctor saying is this possible what he is saying now okay exposure to sun and air for someone afflicted with chronic cough was dangerous an experienced lady declared so an experienced la- lady see in uh, a village or in our society always there are experienced people be a lady or gent so an experienced lady said you know someone who's suffering from cough and all if she you know goes out in the sunshine and all it's very dangerous something very dangerous for her now a younger neighbor nearly quarrel with her over this so a younger neighbor she had a tussle with her over this issues okay she quarrel nearly quarrel with her over this she was totally against what this old lady she said okay she opposed her idea and then they had a tussle over this clear too exhausted to participate in the debate saida's mother remain quiet but determined to follow the doctor's advice saida's mother did not have strength enough to participate in the debate that was going so she chose to keep quiet but she was determined she was strong will she wanted to follow her doctor's advice okay so she said forget the consequences forget about the result or the effect that will follow i will carry out the instructions to the letter she said whatever was instructed to me i'll carry out each and every instruction i'll follow them move my bed into the next room and let me sit in the sun on my charpoy for an hour daily charpoy means charpai those a uh, bed with strong nylon thread which keep things attached clear so she said move my bed into the next room and let me sit in the sun on my charpoy for an hour daily i want to sit in the sun like the doctor suggested who said this saida's mother right she was happy to get along with the suggestion prescribed by the doctor okay now what will happen in the following paragraph let's read preface and let's get to understand the sky remains overcast overcast means what what is the meaning of the word overcast it means cloudy clear the sky remain overcast with cloud for a few days so you can call it bad luck or what saida's mother when she wanted to expose herself into the sunshine the sky remain overcast okay saida makes a special request to the sun rays to help her mother gets well now saida saida will have an interaction with the sun ray and she will request the sun rays to appear and pierce through the cloud to help her mother get well so the sun rays they will keep their word they will come down in large number and give new life to saida's mother how let's read the paragraph and understand it so happened that the sky remained overcast next morning the same was the case the following day clear like we read so saida's mother was dejected dejected means was very unhappy she muttered speak 
in soft and clear voice he muttered o oh lord of mine why have you ordered the sun to remain hidden how will i have how will i ever be cured sayyida was okay so unhappy she said oh lord why did you order the sun to remain hidden behind the cloud how will i ever be cured how will i get better how will i get normal no sayyida was playing with her doll nearby clear sayyida was playing with her doll nearby and she heard her mother's lament but kept calm she heard her mother crying in pain but she kept calm later in the afternoon when she stumbled on a spot of pale sunshine in the courtyard so she happened to walk through a spot on the courtyard where sunshine was you know emitting with a pale light okay she ran to her mother to stay uh, to say the sun was there so she went to her mother and told her that mother mother sun is there no no said everybody present it's too late and chilly so everybody said no 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 she cannot go now it's too late and it's very cold your mother can't sit out there disheartened means said saida returned to her doll there was no sun really except for its last remnant entangled in the top branches of the family mango tree so there was practically there was no sun ray there was this small ray before sunset and all or when sun you know hides behind cloud you can say so it was giving some kind of hope but this sun ray was hidden behind cloud and was trying to pierce through the mango tree which grew in their house okay now children have at their command a secret language right children speak in their own language foreign to grown ups altogether children they speak with doll they speak with tree right but grown ups if they see this they 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 think like children are after all children and they and they do not give much care or heed to what is being done by the child clear but children they have their own secret language you can call it foreign means unknown to the grown ups in which they fluently communicate with trees flowers animal the sun and the moon perhaps even with the almighty so children have a way to communicate with almost everything okay so using that special language saida addressed her remark to the last departing ray of sun so saida was speaking to this last departing ray of the sun so what will she say let's find out dear sister so she called her sister do come tomorrow with lots of warmth and brightness you see my mother is ill and needs your help okay so what will the sun ray say she said surely answered the light don't look unhappy will be here all at the fix hour next day early in the morning when the sprightly sun rays embellish themselves for their journey down there so when the sun rays were collecting themselves and getting prepared to launch themselves towards earth the sun said it's our day off again sun said we cannot go down today it's our day of its holiday for us we are staying up here clear he said the road to earth is blocked by an army of thick mucky cloud he said the road to earth is again blocked by clouds they are thick and very bad in shape the little rays so much wanted to go down for a lark but they remain quiet okay so the little rays wanted to speak up they wanted to express their opinion on saida and her mother but they remain quiet but finally one of them might speak one of them though who had made a pact with little saida who had made a pact means agreement with little saida said sir it's sir i can stay back i have given my word to saida whos mother is ill and needs our help i'll pierce through the clouds to reach saida's courtyard how else will her mother be cured okay the little uh, ray said you know sir i can't stay today i have promised little saida that i'll be there to help her mother get well i'll pierce through i'll pierce through the cloud and i'll reach saida's courtyard how else will her mother get cured so hearing this all the rays staying near 
stage the revolt all the rays also wanted to join in they staged the revolt they started speaking up now against their father the sun okay they say fancy is staying back again they said in a single voice what will the people of the earth say about us that we of the heaven have turned liars clear so they said no 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 father we cannot stay here the other rays muttered courage and they say we have to go back otherwise people of earth will think we are liars clear the sun relented the the, the sun will speak something he said please please yourself he said mind your clothes though the clouds are mucky he said if you want to make yourself happy doing that go go but be sure to wear good clothes because the clouds are mucky they are very deep and thick they might attack you on the way clear so what will be the race saying they said see it's some sort of personification why personification because the clouds and all are treated as humans as if they are speaking this sort of expression is called personification where we treat things like or as if they were humans and then they are able to speak clear so let's continue reading never mind our clothes we can always change but go we must the clouds say no 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 father don't mind our clothes we have to go we can always change our clothes and the rays rushed towards the earth the clouds stood guard between them and saida's courtyard so the rays started their journey but the clouds stood guard between them and saida's courtyard it was a difficult journey the little rays focused their heat and they had enough of it on a battalion of cloud so they were battalion of cloud too many cloud a group of cloud they were joining and trying to pierce through the cloud and there was enough heat energy okay this heat energy was good enough to flee them from and pierce through the cloud okay so the rays got through shooting past the bewildered cloud so the rays got through they pierced through the confused cloud the clouds look confused because they thought it was their day but then the rays they collected and they pierced through them they were already late now clear so see we are here saida sitting her mother is looking unhappy right now which so see saida so the whole lost uh, whole host of them approaching and her heart leapt with joy so saida saida so the beam of ray approaching her and she was very happy she shouted amma amma the sun is here come out the old lady's eye welled up with tears of gratitude so seeing the sun rays approaching her saida was excited and gave her news to amma so seeing the sun shine the old lady's eye sparkled she was happy and tears of happiness rolled down her cheeks as if she was expressing her gratitude thankfulness to the sun her charpoy charpoy refers to this bed i was telling you her charpoy was placed in the courtyard and she sat on it for an hour reclining against bolster so she sat on it it was reclining she was resting and her bed was reclining against bolster those nuts and all which kept it firm she was sitting on the courtyard enjoying the sunshine right it had been months since since she had felt the sun on her hands and face and breathed in fresh air so it had been month that she you know breathed in fresh air and got to enjoy the sunlight it had been months clear so she she thought she was in a new world altogether clear so it had been months in Uh, since she had felt the sun on her hands and face and breathed in fresh air she thought she was in a new world altogether though pale her face glowed and her eyes shone bright so her face was pale due to sickness but it started showing brightness because she was enjoying the sun and the air which she had been deprived of for months right she saw her child to bath in sunlight and kissed her okay so she saw her child too she was passing by to bath in the sunlight and kiss her so she expressed her happiness by hugging and kissing her child as well clear the morning air brought in a new fragrance from nearby flowers so in morning in the morning what happens if flowers and all they bloom they bring in this fresh sweet scent right since air was also blowing softly saida's mother could enjoy scenting uh, 
could enjoy the smell of the scent of fresh flowers blooming in the air it was wonderful for her to be there in the morning the birds chanted a new tune so the birds also were singing as the sun was shining brightly on this cold day okay saida's mother felt better already she was already feeling better she was not feeling sickly anymore now at the end what happened she is fully recovered now but she still follows the doctor's advice what was the advice an hour of sunlight and lungs lungs full of fresh air every day clear so see sometimes what happens not the luxury or the costliness of medicine save us our lifestyle and modification of simple habits that you know keep us sick may turn us healthy clear so this story was written by zakir hussain and it's translated from urdu and it's slightly modified okay so this question and answers are simple and i want you to try them on your own if you have any problem pertaining to this i'll always help you clear so what does it say it says what did the physicians ask saida's mother to do to get well what did they ask they ask her for sunshine an hour of sunshine lung full of fresh air they also suggested her that she could eat anything she wanted ranging from fresh vegetable to chapatis to milk and all right so i've given you hint the rest has to be tried by you if you have problems still like i've said we will help you okay so what did the specialist prescribe in addition to medicine like i've said an hour of medicine and lung full of fresh air so what did saida tell the sun rays to do they she requested the sun rays by calling her elder sister to appear tomorrow to get her mother well right so why were the sun rays keen to go down to the earth the next day they wanted to help saida's ailing mother first secondly they thought the people of earth would consider them liar if they missed to venture out on earth that day right so what do we, we have here what is your own formula for keeping good health this depends upon you you can say exercise healthy diet and maintaining strict regime of sleeping early waking up early okay so who would you recommend to a patient in your neighborhood is there any sick and elderly elderly people in your neighborhood will you recommend them to the physician contacted first or the specialist contacted next we can say specialist right or the physician based on their suggestion they can get better so i will also leave them for you so when would you make a pact with the sun when you are going on a picnic so this depends upon you class try them on your own we have been doing plenty of spoon feeding by providing you almost all the question and answer now i want you to try them and on google meet session i'll verify who's trying and in what form clear but still if you have problem like i've said i'll always help you okay so with this we come to conclusion of today's class thanks everyone for being part of the class it was wonderful to be sharing excerpt of this lesson with you all keep learning keep working hard thank you